Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 is the German Empire as you may be able to tell from my voice. I'm feeling a bit better today. You're still only going to get one. Just because I can't do it for very long, but tomorrow I will expect that we will have some Jurassic World Evolution 2. Last episode we were trying to invade Britain, but they kept catching our other divisions here. And the game would just keep occasionally freezing. It looks like it's still doing this. What in the Christ are you doing? Thank you. Come on! Let them land! Damn submarines! <laughs> like, it's so dumb that they're able to ho hold up the convoys. When the convoys... Like, those submarines would not, would not be able to do anything. I think what's happening, maybe, is every time it's, like, lagging, because now it's doing it again. Is that like they're going in and out of combat? <coughs> like, this is so dumb. What is happening here? This naval combat is completely busted. Oh shit, they're actually going. Yeah, just in time for them to move, like, everywhere. Beautiful. Albert, no. Right, go! Holy crap, where'd those divisions come from? <laughs> oh, there goes Luxembourg. Alright, there you go. We have finally done it. We've managed to land, finally. <laughs> yeah, it just all subs. Oh look, Luxembourg capitulated. Who would have thought? So yeah, let's try and keep our advantage going here of being able to expand. Especially because we're about to have reinforcements show up. Tanks, let's go. You are staying in the English Channel, right? Yes.
No, just gotta wait for the rest of them to show up. This shouldn't take too long. Actually, yeah, let's hold up, hold up. We just don't have enough people here right now to hold the front lines. Alright, tanks are here. Yeah, with a little bl blitzkrieg we're gonna have going on here, I would say they're going to fall fairly quickly. I always did want German tanks to roll into London. I mean, isn't that every man's dream? Alright, wh where is this navy? Go repair. <laughs> Just get out of there. Because I think it's you guys that are lagging my game. It's all the stupid submarines. Just let them be. And we're just shooting them straight out of the sky. And we have jets starting to be built. Which I don't know about you guys, but jet fighters are fairly good. And why can't I break them? Anti-tank? Anti-tank. Very good. Some of them at least get there. So it stops lagging the high hell. Oh, there's actually a port there, huh? So yeah, Britain should fall fairly quickly. They don't look like they have many troops here. So it shouldn't be hard to take them out. Because they're the pens are elite. Born to compete, never retreat, ghost division. Oh great, I'm gonna get like copyright strikes now. <laughs> oh, oh no. But yeah, where are they even marching to? Is there a province there? Yes, there is. I mean, we'll get any encirclements we can. <laughs> oh, well, actually, oh yeah, Rommel, I didn't actually specifically get your men over here to use you. Well... I hope that you make it. And it seems like they're going to attempt to... 
beat us. With this stupid naval invasion they're doing. Yeah, let's make sure they don't actually like get a port. Cause that'll be really bad if they do. Well, apparently they don't even want to acknowledge that we're here, apparently. Do we get any airports yet here? We have. We probably have a group of a thousand planes up here. Oh, you know what? No, I have a better idea. How many jets do we have right now? Not many, not many. But hey, you know what? It's something. We will send you guys into Northern England. And I should have plenty of bombers. Should. I seriously only have like 300. I guess you don't really need that many bombers, but. It's also probably trying to replace the ones I already had. This is plus 300. Even though they can pierce their armor, small groups of divisions just cannot deal with our heavy firepower. Uh, they do have a port there, so let's fix that. <clears throat> let's get Liverpool. Alright, we got it. Some up there, some up there. These tanks just go right around. And honestly, I can probably just tell Rommel's troops just to go. Let's take Manchester. Tanks, they're just gonna drive all the way up to Newcastle. Oh, yeah, Britain's falling plenty fast right now. Oh, I forgot about that. Huh. Invite the faction. I don't really know why I care about this, but you know, now that I think about it, that may not be a good idea. Luckily, the war's not going to end anytime soon, because now that I think about it, it means that they'll get them as um, allies. Of course, you know, they're considered our allies, so we actually want them to capitulate, even though we are not in the same faction as them. And to be honest, the rest of them will probably take care of them. United Kingdom has capitulated. Alright, we're just going to set all these guys up here on garrison orders. 
until we like figure out everything. So, we do want them to take out them, and I believe, yeah, free, free friends will take out the commune. I should have canceled that. So, I'm thinking, what is our best course of action actually going to be? By the way, shout out to Poland for taking out Finland and Norway. And our allies doing stuff over here. Do not forget that the Chinese United Front is still at war with them. Like a little strips of Russian Federation there. It's really considering South Africa a major. It's got... You know what? Do countries that become majors stay that? Because I'm thinking that's what happened. Because South Africa does not have 50... Um... Things. Which means we we're probably going to have to actually invade there. You know, it didn't, like, readjust for the fact that it lost. Right. Maybe it did, but it just doesn't have enough to, like, put troops everywhere. But anyway... We Alright, so what are we going to do? We could deal with China first. But you know, I actually don't think that's worth it for us to deal with right now. And what I think we should actually do is, well, go high a safari and head down into Africa. Head into Africa to sweep through the continent, most likely. Head all the way down to South, Af South Africa. Navally invade here. Take all of India. And honestly from there. We just kind of sweep up from. And pretty much just figure out what we're going to do. I think we will take out China first before we take out Japan. But if we do defeat Japan first. It does mean that we just end the war. Obviously I mean we still take out South Africa first. Because they're a major nation. But if we take out Japan first, it will just end the war against the Allies. And every day we run the risk of the United States joining. Actually, what we could do, build infrastructure up all the way, naval base, naval base, so yeah, just two will be good. And invade Japan from up here. And honestly, not a terrible idea. Well, actually, no. We still have to do that because we have to get our fleet over. So, yeah, I'm beginning to think that China may be the course of action. Don't know where they navally invaded from. They sure did it somewhere. Well, you know what, guys? I think this is actually... We're just going to end for right now because I'm going to, like, off-screen plan what I'm going to do. So, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, which I hope you did, I'm very happy that we were able to take um, all the United Kingdom. The important parts of our Navy survived, which were the capital ships. Destroyers pretty much all got sunk, but that doesn't really matter. We have a shit ton of, shit ton of capital ships, and that's all that matters. And we've pretty much gutted... The French Navy, the Italian Navy is looking pretty sad. The German Navy is pretty strong. The Japanese Navy is basically non-existent. 
Uh, the United States Navy is still pretty scary, but I'm still I'm actually kind of confident since now we have a lot more dockyards we can use, and we're still pumping out more heavy ships. So, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, which I hope you did, remember to like if you if you like the video. Please comment down below. I always love reading what you guys have to say. And hey, if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. And hey, if you want to hang out with me, talk to me, share shit with me, then feel free to join our Discord down below. I will catch you all later. Peace.